Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, uh, a new way to make uh, a grid. I know I should continue with the beams that uh, we stopped last time, but I uh, was running through my uh, YouTube page and I just remembered that I, uh, I have this conversation uh, with one of my subscribers, uh, Okash Arauf, and um, he uh, was wondering that how we can make uh, how we can make the the grids that I made in the first tutorial is just a varying grid or just a, a allow a distance change and the grid should be you know not like a uniform and doesn't have the same value to be repeated for both X and Y's and uh, I, I, I tried to you know figure that out and in this quick videos I'm gonna show you how to do so uh, as I just wanted to say that this is a metric file and it's a meter not a millimeter and in, in Dynamo, uh, lots of ways to start up this, uh, but basically you either go for, uh, you know, like a, a standard uh, instance or a standard reference point. So in, in, the, in, in, the, in the first method, you go and uh, double click on the screen and just provide a group or set of uh, values, usually start up with a zero. So let's go like uh, 2, 5, 10, I don't know. Uh, 15 and maybe 25 and then those uh, sequence or uh, chain of numbers uh, represent the, the distances between each line of the vertical line let's say to the zero zero so our reference uh, here is, is a fixed value uh, that's what the first method is we have a reference point to the zero zero and each number is the distance from that grid to the zero zero. I know it sounds crazy and very rare to be used, but let's have a look at this. It won't take much uh, to do that. It's just a point by coordinates, and then I'm going to control and uh, move that to get a copy. And uh, as, as it goes, I'll give this value to the x, and now we get, you know, so it's 2 and then 5, you know from 0, 10, 15, and then 25. Beautiful. I'm going to repeat this for another chain of dimensions. And in here, I'm going to have a slider to finish this job. It's just a numerical slider. And in it, I uh, just connect this to the Y. And when you push that, you know, you define the the depth, uh, sorry, the length of the grid. So you can call that the, the, whatever you want. Just let's call it the, the length of the grid system. Uh, again, I need a line. I do prefer the line method. So just the start end point. So that's the set of start, that set of end. So that's more lines. And then eventually I'm going to go grid uh, by lines. You can go by points, but I don't prefer that because when I, you know, have those line intersect, I can find the intersection points to help me to distribute columns and beams. Uh, as you you might notice or might uh, seen in the previous uh, couple of videos. Anyway, so by lines, and that's it, guys. Just just connect this, and you get your grids ready. And let's have a look, and I mentioned those guys. And as you can see, the actual distances here is based on an incremental factor. So two, that's the zero, the first guy. Then two. And then 2 plus 5, which is to sort of 2 plus 3 is 5. And then this guy is the 10. And this dude, the last one, is the uh, 15 and, uh, and so on. So that's, uh, that's how it goes. And uh, it's basically, you know, like a, a relative system. So it's a, uh, sorry, it's a reference system. So you have this reference. And it's absolute reference to zero, 00. So this grids are going away from that or have a distance to this zero, 00 value. Anywho, that's uh, a really uh, crazy method, which is uh, no one shall use it, to be honest. And uh, But it will give you a good insight of how that can work. Uh, the other way or the other method we can use is uh, basically if you have a couple of sliders like this guy here let's go like uh, let's have a couple of sliders let's go uh, I don't know uh, come on the control that's three let's go four maybe 
and let's go each one of them will represent the the, the actual distance so I'll start with this zero I, I usually advise you to start up with zero then we say two and then you know five and let's say maybe seven so now that's the way we do you know uh, grids by an actual distance between each one of them not by an indication or a, a reference value to the zero zero anyway so this is the this is the you know the set or this is the distance you can change them whenever you want and probably uh, we're gonna need a list here so the list will you know help me to create the much of an input value that I want as such and yep now it's zero two and then five and seven now you need to actually to continuously you know like uh, multiply uh, sorry uh, add this to this and then zero to two to five and then uh, zero to two to five to seven so this is to be done we need something called uh, let me remember it's a uh, yeah get key it's help you to get all keys from the you know specified key value so when you get this to that guy and you open this it's again each number here each each index here it will be get a key for it so you have one two three and four so it's zero one two three which is almost a four unit it's actually a four units or a four indexes here good now if I create a chain that depend on this keys like saying zero from nothing to anything to a and this a is this chain now have a look of what happening it's just gonna go from zero to zero zero from zero to one so we have zero and one from zero to two so it should be zero one and two and then from zero to three and zero one two and three beautiful now I will go and get list dot get index get item add an index. So this is my list and that's my index. Now let's see the magic happening here. So what happened in here? It's actually getting the first index which is zero from this list zero beautiful and then it get the first one and the second one so zero and one that's the first and the second as usual as I said it's always the zero to represent the first value so zero and then the first one which is this one number one two so it's at zero and two so later on we can add them to each other that's what we want to get this and this and then this and this and this you know the first and the second and the third so again first second and third beautiful and then you know all of them which is the whole four the whole four keys that we have in here uh, okay now probably we need a sum uh, here it's just a part of the math system and what this guy will do you know it's gonna go 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 2 2 0 2 5 7 and then the end will be 14 so that's what we actually need is you know uh, it says 0 plus 2 and then plus 5 which is 7 and then 7 plus 7 will equal 14 I'll show you that in a couple of seconds when we you know finish this job so I'm gonna get this just too lazy to do it again those are our axis and we need a slider here oops yep and let's say it's 10 maybe or something that's the length of this line so too short see now what happens let me open those points so what happened now is it's basically from the zero to this is two and then it's you know five and then seven so let's have a look to compare I don't know if this is uh, easy 
for you guys to read it, making it worse. Yep, that's crazily bigger, which is good. Now, that's my dynamo. So, have a look again. So, that's the zero again. That's two from that zero. That's what we want. And then you want five meters between those two. So, that's five. And then you want seven meters between, you know, that. So, you feed the number or add slider. And that's the distance between each. And that's done, guys, by, you know, changing or getting the keys giving a value for each one of those then let's rivet our dynamo actually calculating the first and the second and then the first second and third and the first second third fourth that's what this guy did by list dot dot get item dot index and then when you sum that guys you get technically the accumulative distances from 0 to 2 from 5 to 2 which is 7 and then from 7 with the 7 will be 14 so it's actually you know it's tricking us to you know as getting it as a reference but in, in reality is just getting it as a relationship to the previous one but that doesn't bother you what you really need to focus out when you put this in the, in the uh, dynamo play is those guys so you, you can put you, you need in advance to know how many you need so you can define the list you define you need here and you just put the distances between the grids and that's it it's just dynamically change you know dynamically create for you the, the the normal way or the most used way of grid based on the distances between each two lines anyway i wish that you find this uh, useful uh, this video useful and uh, uh, that's also for you uh, mr uh, okash or to answer this uh, question the lovely question that you have i wish that you find uh, this video uh, useful thank you everyone and have a good day bye bye